Hi, and welcome to our instructional video that is designed to make you a smarter gambler. My name is Steve Borey, and I'm the author of the American Casino Guide, which is the number one best-selling book in the U.S. on the subject of casino gambling and travel, and the only book that comes with more than $1,000 in casino coupons. If you want to know more about the book, be sure to visit our website at AmericanCasinoGuide.com. And if you have an iPhone or iPad, be sure to download our free app. Just go to the App Store and search for American Casino Guide. In this video, blackjack expert Henry Tamburin, who is the publisher of the Blackjack Insider Newsletter, as well as the author of eight books on casino gambling, explains why you should never play at tables that only pay you six to five when you get a blackjack. Now here's Henry Tamburin. Historically, the casinos have paid a blackjack at three to two payoff odds. And what that means is that if you bet $10, you're going to win $15. Now what casinos have done recently is they've changed the odds of paying off on a blackjack from three to two to six to five. Now that might not seem innocuous and most players don't even realize that they're being shortchanged when they play blackjack and instead of getting paid three to two they're getting paid at six to five. The reality is a six to five payoff odds is a lot worse than the three to two payoff odds. The house edge when a casino offers six to five payoff odds increases by 1.40 percent. Let me repeat that. 1.40 percent. That means a typical six to five single deck blackjack game, which you'll find in many casinos nowadays, in which the blackjack pays six to five, the dealer hits off 17, and you can double down on any two cards. That game has a house edge of 1.45 percent. And the bulk of it, of course, is from the six to five payoff. If you compare that to a typical three to two single deck blackjack game, the house edge is nine times greater for that six to five game. If you compare that six to five single deck game to a typical six deck blackjack game, the house edge is three times greater. So that's the first reason why you don't want to play a six to five blackjack game. You're playing a game where the house edge is ridiculously high. Now I know a lot of people don't understand the concept of house edge and you know what's the big deal of 1.4 percent? What does it mean? I'm going to translate this now into dollars and cents. Let's suppose you're a ten dollar player and you have a choice of playing a three to two game or a six to five game. They're both available. And let's suppose you're going to average 80 hands per hour, which is about average. Statistically, every hour that you play those 80 hands, you're going to average about four blackjacks an hour because blackjacks will occur about once every 21 hands. So every hour, on average, you're going to get four blackjacks. And let's suppose you play two hours. So that's a total of eight blackjacks is what you're expected. Now let's take a look at the three to two blackjack game. If you bet ten dollars you're going to be paid fifteen. If you go over on the six to five game if you bet ten dollars you're only going to win twelve for your blackjack. So you're losing three dollars on every blackjack if you play that six to five game. So that's three dollars times four blackjacks an hour that's twelve dollars you play two hours, that's $24. If you play three hours, it's $36. That is the fee, that is a tax that you are paying every time you play a six to five blackjack game. You might as well walk up to the table and hand the casino over $24 and then play your two hours of blackjack. But I know no player would do that. Instead, they'll sit down and play six to five and they pay this hidden tax. They don't realize it, but every blackjack is going to cost them money. And that's a lot of money that you're paying for absolutely nothing. So there's no reason to go and play a six to five blackjack. But let me give you, in case you're still wavering on whether or not a six to five, six to five blackjack is all that bad, let me give you two more reasons why six to five blackjack is really bad news. Let's suppose you play blackjack and you don't bet 
in multiples of $5. Because remember, on a 6 to 5 blackjack game, every time you bet 5, you'll get paid 6 for a blackjack. Or if you bet 10, you'll get 12. Let's suppose you bet $8, and you get a blackjack. How's the dealer going to pay you off? What dealers will typically do is they will pay you $6 for the first five that you bet, and then they'll only pay you even money for the other $3. So that $8 that you bet is going to win you $9. So that $9 payoff is no longer 6 to 5. It's worse than 6 to 5. It's about 5.6 to 5. So that's the second reason you want to avoid playing 6 to 5 blackjack games. The third reason, a lot of players like to take the even money wager. So when you get a blackjack and the dealer has an ace showing, a lot of players will just simply tell the dealer, give me even money. If you bet $10, the dealer's going to give you $10 regardless of whether or not he ends up with a blackjack. So even money is a fairly popular bet amongst blackjack players. Well, guess what? In a 6 to 5 blackjack game, the odds don't work out in the casino's favor like they do for the 3 to 2 game. And they're not going to make any money if they offered even money on a 6 to 5 blackjack game. So they simply refuse to offer that bet on a 6 to 5 game. So if you're playing 6 to 5 game, don't expect to get even money for your blackjacks. It's not going to be available. The other thing that you really have to be careful these days is that when you sit down at a blackjack table, most players don't even realize that this particular game they're about to play only gives payout odds of 6 to 5. When 6 to 5 was first introduced in Las Vegas, they didn't even change the, 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 the layouts on the table. They simply put signage out on the marquees for all the players to see that we now offer single deck blackjack. And of course, that was the big come on. People would hear about the strip casinos now offering single deck blackjack. And most players understand that a single deck game has slightly better odds than a multiple deck game. So a lot of players flock to these single deck games. And guess what? They didn't realize that the blackjacks were playing six to five. And here's an irony, and, and, and this is a little bit of history. And I want to bring this up now because 60 years ago, back in the 60s, the casino bosses got together right after Edward Thorpe wrote his book, Beat the Dealer, which basically explained for the first time to the masses of blackjack player that you can beat the game with card counting. And the casino bosses really started to panic. And they had a meeting in Las Vegas, and they decided they needed to do something so they decided to change the playing rules of their single deck games. They went ahead and they changed uh, the double down rule so that you could only double down on an 11 and you were no longer allowed to split aces. So they implemented that rule change, which is a change in a player's option. And guess what happened? Players stayed away from blackjack they would not play that game because the casino screwed around with their playing options. And the bosses had no other recourse but to bring back the old rules. And by the way, those two rule changes that they implemented together increased the house edge up to about 0.94%. But players still balked at playing because it was a change in the playing options. And, and players don't like that. Now you fast forward 60 years. Now the casino has changed the rules of blackjack, but they didn't change the playing options. What they did was they changed the blackjack payoff to 6 to 5. And guess what? The masses of blackjack player didn't even realize that this was happening. They didn't understand what the effect what this was on, their, uh, on the house edge. In fact, nowadays, Casinos can't put out enough single deck six to five blackjack games because the players flock to these games. They still have the mindset that a single deck is a good game. And they don't realize that these games pay six to five. 
So if you're going to go to a blackjack table, you got to make sure that that table is paying three to two for a blackjack. A lot of casinos have now changed the layouts so that it says six to five. Many of them have put signage on the table which goes over the rules and it says six to five. But if you're still not sure, you make sure you ask the dealer, does this table pay three to two on a blackjack? And if she says no and it says it pays six to five, then you should just simply get up and say adios and leave and go to a casino that offers the fair three to two blackjack payoff odds. The last tip I want to leave you with is the fact that casino bosses have now brazenly changed the blackjack payoff odds to six to five on their double and six deck games. So you not only have to be careful when you go and play blackjack not only on a single deck game but even a double and a six deck game and make sure that those payoff odds are three to two. Because if you go on a six deck game and you're only getting six to five for a blackjack payoff, the house edge is going to zoom up close to two percent. If you want to know more about my Blackjack Insider newsletter, you can go to my website, bjinsider.com. You can also get three complimentary copies of my newsletter by going to bjinsider.com forward slash free trial. Just type it one word, free trial. And you can also go to my other website, smartgaming.com where I posted a lot of articles, not only on blackjack, but on video poker and craps and other casino games. Don't forget that you can see more of our educational gambling videos on our YouTube channel. Just go to youtube.com slash American Casino Guide.